everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back to do my December wrap up and my January TBR. I cannot believe that it is our January of 2017. The end of December just crept on up on me. I had finals and the holidays just came at me so quick that I had barely any time to film any videos. So that's why I've been gone so long. I am so sorry, but I am finally back. I'm hoping to get back on track this entire month. I don't go back to school until the end of the month, so that's even better. So I'll have a lot more time to film videos. I have so many reviews to do. It's kind of ridiculous. But like I said, I am back to do the monthly wrap-ups and what I'm reading in the month of January. So in the month of December, like I said, I really didn't... I had so much stuff going on with school, and then the holidays came up. I actually did not have a lot of time to read. I did manage to read one book. However, that book I actually DNF'd. I just could not get into the story. I don't have a copy on me, but that book was The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. I gave this book a 2 out of 5 stars. I had very high expectations going into it. I had heard a lot of good reviews on it. However, when I read it, I was interested in the story at first. Um, within the first like 5 or 6 chapters, I was really into it. And then just my interest in it just decreased over the rest of the book and I ended up DNFing it with about 200 pages left in it. I just could not get into it at all. Uh, so I did, like I said, give that book a 2 out of 5 stars. Um, as far as the books I am reading in the month of January, I have a total of 8 books here that I plan on reading. One of them I actually already started in December and that book is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I'm about 300 pages into this book. I'm really interested in so far. I love Scotland and I love historical fiction so I was looking for a good historical fiction and everybody says um, they really like this book so I thought I would pick it up and it's so good so far. Like I said I'm about 300 pages into it and I definitely at this point can plan on continuing on with the series after this book so yes. That's what I am currently reading. The next book I'm going to talk about has been on my TBR for months now, and that book is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. This is book one in the Heroes of Olympus series, which is a kind of continuation on with the Percy Jackson series that I read back in, I think it was May and June of uh, last year. Um, and I really enjoyed uh, Percy Jackson. I love Greek mythology. I love mythology in general. And... Um, like I said, this is kind of a continuation on with it, so I definitely am intrigued by this book, and I hope to get to it finally this month. The next book has also been on my TBR for quite a while since I uh, was able to meet the author back in October, if you guys have seen my video, which I'll link down below, and that book is Children of Eden by Joey Graceppa. I, again, I mentioned this in videos before, I did meet Joey Graceppa last October when he came to Brookline, Massachusetts on his book tour for this book. And this is a young adult dystopian novel, and if you know me at all, I love dystopian. So, of course, I automatically want to pick this book up. Joey Graceppa is a pretty well-known book uh, YouTuber here on YouTube, um, so I'll link his channel below as well. And, like I said, this sounds really intriguing, and I've heard a lot of good things about it so far. Keeping on the track of dystopian, I have actually three dystopians in this pile this month. I did not plan on that at all. The next one I have is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Lindsay Cummings uh, recently wrote a book called Zenith with Sasha over at a Book Utopia, and that is being published, I believe, in August. So congratulations to them. And I picked this book up, I believe, in October, and it's another young adult dystopian where the, in this society the death rate is higher than the birth rate, which is kind of cool. It's a really cool concept. Um, so I'm definitely intrigued by this, and uh, I planned on reading around Halloween, but I never really got, into, got to it, so I'm hoping to read it this month. The next book I have is a uh, middle grade novel. This is called A Whole New World, um, and this is book one in the Twisted Tale series by Liz Braswell. This is a um, Aladdin, I believe, yeah, Aladdin retelling, and I was able to get uh, the first three books in this series from my cousin for Christmas. She really liked them. Uh, she's read them all, I believe, and she recommended to me because my favorite TV show, Once Upon a Time, is a retelling of fairy tales. So she definitely thought of me when she saw this series, and I am definitely intrigued by it. Um, this is, um, pretty much the retelling is, what if Aladdin had never found the genie la lamp and what would happen? So 
I'm definitely intrigued, like I said, and I'm hoping to get into it. The next book I have here is the last book in a series I read back in November, I believe. And that book is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. This is book three in the Divergent trilogy, one of my favorite series of all time. I mentioned this before, I actually never continued on with the Divergent trilogy until I read Insurgent back in November. I really loved Insurgent, and this is, again, the third book in the movie. Part two of the movie is coming out very soon, I believe. So I definitely want to get to it um, before part two of the movie comes out. Because I've seen all the movies and I love them all, so yes. The next one is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This is another young adult dystopian novel. Um, and in this society, there's um, two types of people. There's red bloods who I don't I have no powers, and then there's silver bloods who have powers. And our main character is a red blood, but she uh, discovers she has these magical abilities. Uh, and nobody knows if any of the other Red Bloods have them, and it sounds really interesting. I've kind of heard mixed reviews about the series. I own the first two books. Hopefully I'll like it, um, and we shall see. And the last book I plan on reading this month is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I have been planning on reading this for months now. I read Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass and absolutely loved it. Um, and this series is another really well-known series by her. Um, a lot of people have read it and loved it. I own the first two books. I own this one in a quarter of Mist and Fury. Um, so yes, I definitely want to get to this one, if not this month, next month, because it sounds just fantastic. So that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I'll be sure to have links to all these books um, or videos I mentioned in this video down below if you guys would like to check them out. I'll also have all my social media linked in the description box below. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And I'll also link my blog down below if you want to see any reviews before they are posted here on the channel. And I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday season. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!